we're in 2023 at the moment and the world is going mad for ai david the world is you know maybe we, we, maybe we won't be here in 10 years time where robots will have replaced us but we'll know but what, what are some of the most you know key trends that you're seeing around sort of data and and, and the market you know artificial intelligence is this big growth area in the in the industries across you know every industry right now how is how is it you know changing things do you think and, and what are you guys doing at trade nation to sort of prepare for that it's tricky, isn't it? Because uh, you don't really know. One doesn't really know where it's going to take you. I mean, I can, uh, from my own, I think it will speed things up yet again, just in the way we had high frequency trading, which I should say, hopefully didn't affect the retail derivatives business too much. I mean, it, yeah, you can argue that it, it, it does, You can, you, you, and, but I don't think it's in a sort of a way that is very obvious. But I do think uh, generative AI could well, we could well see another um, step up in terms of the speed of business and the, the speed of trading and everything else. How it's going to affect us, I don't know. I mean, I do, I do hear that the, um, the, the, the SEC, the US Securities and Exchange Commission, is looking to regulate uh, what happens with generative AI, but they don't quite know how because I don't think they really know what the implications are yet. I don't think perhaps anybody does. Perhaps Elon Musk does. I don't know. But um, it's it's difficult. We're in the foothills of a, of, a, of a very steep climb, I think. I do think, think though, um, there have been some studies which, and I can't attribute them, I can't remember where I heard this, but there have been some studies which I think it's going to, it's going to make the life of fund managers much more difficult perhaps. Potentially, potentially, um, because there's a study that shows that actually most fund managers and that you're paying for their services, but actually all they do, it, it, well, not all they do, but they, they they tend to sort of make money, you know, most of their money when when the, the, the market's going up. And, uh, you know, that's the be all and end all of it. And there's not much more of that alpha, which you're trying to get over the, the, the performance of the benchmarks. So it could make their lives a bit more difficult going forward. There have been some attempts to put together um, um, funds based uh, and, and stock picks based on, uh, you know, run by generative AI. But I, as from what I heard, they haven't been very successful so far. Maybe they will be in the future. But maybe there's also going to be a push for people to do, you know, do their own thing. And, you know, rather than sort of pay for money managers to to make the decisions for them, that people will decide that actually I'd rather do my own analysis and maybe use generative AI to do that. Be interesting That's to see cool. how it goes. It is, because, you know, you talk about stocks and, and, and different, you know, especially if you're into, into an individual stock, you know, is, is there anything that beats a human being talking to another human being and, and looking at the whites in their eyes and seeing the direction of strategy that they're taking for that company to, to then know whether that's going to change? And I guess, you know, whether a robot can do that, I guess is probably the, 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 yeah. the, the challenge. So I, I guess maybe, maybe there's going to be a role for us people for a while yet, David, in, in this element of human relationships, we'll, we'll sort of see. But um, I hope you know, so. I guess, <laughs> um, and do you guys use any in Trade Nation any AI yourselves internally to sort of help you know traders with their strategies or plans or or the experience itself? Is there I mean if you know is there anything you're particularly doing at the moment around AI? No, not really. I mean, we've all had a go on Chat GPT, and uh, you know I've tried sort of write you know writing my own articles using it, and actually I'm not a great fan. But I mean, you know that that's that it's such early days, isn't it? Um, you know with the, it. The way we're using it, it's, a, it's in its very, very basic form and its infancy. And it's go I, how it how it develops from here on in. I mean, I'm just I'm at I'm at a loss. Final question, David. Any parting thoughts for people that are you know viewing the the, the video for the first time or you know, seeing the channel around? Um, obviously, the, the, you know, I'm sure you'll say to, to have a look at TradeNation.com. But any final mm -hmm. thoughts? Or pearls of wisdom from you, from a man that's been in this industry for such a long time. I would say, look, I mean, if you're, if the sound, of, if trading sounds of interest to you, if you're interested in what's going on in the world, if you're interested in news, um, analyzing the news, and then backing that up by sort of following the following the markets, then you know, do consider trading. It's not for everyone, and it is risky. It's speculative, but if you do have some risk capital and want to get involved, then I do think it, it's it's a very exciting world. And yeah, I have been in it a long time, and I haven't. I, I'm still excited by it, and hopefully I'll go on being excited by it for quite a while yet to come. Uh, and all I say is just, you know, trade safe, uh, be careful out there, but uh, but have some fun as well.
Fantastic. Great advice. And uh, thank you so much for giving up your time today, David. We really appreciate oh, it. And I guess the way, best way for people to access and get in contact with you or to Trade Nation is to head over to the website. To, uh, Please do. Trade Nation. 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 Trade N